Hello, Bodkin here. I just did a quick video here on getting started with Discus and some of the common myths and some of the issues people run into. Discus really do invoke fearing fish keepers because of their expense and their reputation. If I can give you one tip and one thing you can take away from this video is don't buy fish that are ill and sick. Buy fish from the best possible source you can that are reputable people. Don't buy cheap fish people just getting rid of. Because once you buy sickly discus, you're never going to get them right. They're very prone to internal problems and gill flukes. And once they're ravaged with these, you will really struggle. So my biggest tip is buy them from a hobby breeder because it'll be far cheaper or from a reputable source and if you can take somebody with you that's knowledgeable on discus it would save you a fortune and a lot of trouble another tip is always keep them above 82 fahrenheit they do appreciate the warmer water and this can also help ward off internal issues that as i mentioned before is very common with discus another thing is don't put angel fish with discus because it's not a good mix and you find you'll have massive angel fish and stunted discus. A few tetra and a few corridors shall suffice because discus really do live up to their reputation of being the king of the aquarium and the shoulder discus going across a tank is a really a sight to behold, especially a planted tank. Feed, feeding is very important with discus. If you can get some discus beef heart it will ensure the fish are always really bulky and a good diet of frozen food and high quality flake will help along the way. Another thing, discus aren't cheap but don't just buy two or you'll have one dominating the other one and then you'll just end up with one discus. You really need, because they're a shoaling fish and they have a pecking order and it will take a while to sort this pecking order out, you do need a good six to eight, eight ideally. Tank size, 50 gallons minimum, or the fish will never grow because of the feeding of beef heart. It can be very messy. It's just a few basic tips of keeping discus. But the first point is absolute crucial to buy healthy discus and make sure when you look at them head on, they're not pinched around the head and they're not thin. They've got to be nice and thick set. If you buy from a reputable source or a hobby breeder, you shouldn't run into these issues. Just adding on to my um, small guide on keeping discus. On these diamond tetra, lovely. They'd be ideal with discus. Also emperor tetra and cardinals. These water parameters. If you're buying captive bred discus are so far from the wild, so far down the line, your tap water, as long as it's below 8 pH, it should be fine. The only time with captive bred discus you run into problems is when you try and breed them, the eggs won't hatch out in really hard water. But for general keeping, your general tap water, as long as it's semi-decent, should be fine. And as long as the water's above 82, there will be no issues if they're healthy fish. So don't get buying RO units and fancy concoctions because stable conditions will always be soft water that's bouncing around in pH and can be catastrophic for fish's health. So just stick to your dechlorinated tap water. It's a different story if you're having wild fish. I would not recommend this at all for beginners. Please just get captive bred discus, not wild fish, because they do need soft water and acclimatisation.